AI doing all of these things uh, that are sort of negative. This very thing I speak of is called AI, short for artificial intelligence. But what exactly is AI? And what's the rage about this AI program they call ChatGPT? Using ChatGPT. The pay version, yeah. To answer to email. Answer email, create emails, create invitations, do research, like anything that I would have an employee or an assistant do, I literally funneled through there. Looks like it can pretend to be human. The question now is, what's next? On average, I may send out 40 emails a week. I'm up to like 290 now. Oh boy, that, that, is, that is some dream. And 38% say they are not worried at all that the job they have now could be eliminated by robots or artificial intelligence. Hello, everyone. I'm an English artificial intelligence anchor. This is my very first day in Zingwon as agents. SurveyMonkey finds America's workers optimistic about emerging technology in the workplace. They are some concerns with AI. But history has shown us with innovation comes ramifications. China is a data-rich market like no other. It has 800 million internet users, three times as many as the US, according to a December report by the Eurasia Group. They think that technology just automatically improves. It does not automatically improve. It, it only improves if a lot of people work very hard to make it better. Hey, Clyde, can I talk to you? Sure, bro. Well, I'm kind of having a hard time with my girlfriend, and you seem to know a lot about this stuff. A lot about what stuff? Well, like, how are you so good at knowing what to text, baby? Chat GPT, dude. Steve Jobs once said computers are like bicycles for the mind. While many adjectives have been used to describe artificial intelligence or AI, it is often associated with the word revolutionary for those in support of this technological advancement. But the critics, the critics would describe AI as the start of something nefarious. Why can't we have computers uh, uh, talk